Hello everyone, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker MV tutorial, I'm going to show you how to somewhat replicate the Blitz skill from Final Fantasy VI. So let's get started. First I'm going to show you what it looks like, and uh, then I'm going to show you how to make it. So I tried to originally make this a plugin that you guys could download, uh, and I spent all, all day yesterday messing with it, and it failed pretty miserably. So um, I ended up making it a common events call, and I'm using another plugin. So I'll put a link in the description below where you can get that plugin. So I've made a skill called Blitz, and uh, it takes 10 TP to use. But depending on what buttons you're pressing when you use it, it's going to do different things. So if we use the Blitz skill by itself, it'll do nothing. It'll say incorrect combination. So let's see that. Blitz, I'm pressing nothing, incorrect Blitz combo. But if I use the Blitz and I hold down M and V when it's activated, I get Blitz achieved, Aura Storm, all enemies take a thousand damage. Now this is based on variables that are multiplied, and uh, as you use these skills they will level up and get stronger, so a thousand is like where it starts. <clears throat> let's see some more Blitz skills. So if I hold down, let's just guard it. So if I hold down, um, say D and G, let's see what happens. Blitz achieved Venom Blast. All enemies are inflect, uh, infected with Venom. And if you want to see what the Venom effect does, you could watch my other video, Stacking Poison Effects. So let's see what happens if I hold down uh, S and E. Blitz achieved Chakra. All allies recover 100 HP, 10 MP, and 10 TP. Can't really tell because I've got pretty much full, but it does. It works. Um, and we got one more uh, programmed, and you can put as many as you want. Actually, I've only programmed four, but I'll show you after this. Uh, let's just guard here. Now this next one's a little bit harder to do. You've got to press the Y, the A, the N, the F, and the L uh, all at the same time and hold those while you're doing the blitz. Let's see what happens. Up, oh, didn't get it. We got it. Blitz achieved mantra. All allies gain one swing and ten percent extra experience. So it's effectively adding a couple of states. Uh, one state has no graphic, but it's adding a, a, an invisible state that gives experience. So let's watch, uh, let's see if the double attack actually is working. One, two. One, two. Nice. Um, this is not part of the blitz, but uh, I'll show you some other skills that I've, I'm working on. I'm going to come out with a class spotlight for the exile, uh, and it, that's for Isai. I'm not going to get into that too much uh, in this tutorial. Because this blitz is a lot to cover, but basically that's it. I'm going to show you the first blitz one more time, just to finish these guys off by holding M and V when I use blitz. And you see this time it's doing 1,080 damage. The first time it did 1,000, because as I was using my blitz skills, it was leveling up. So you're going to do more damage as you use them. All right. So now that you've seen blitz. And I, I like this, this job pointing. Uh, I think we're going to get the skill plugin tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> the skill learning plugin from Yanfly. So let's take a look at how to make this Blitz skill. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make a skill called Blitz, or whatever you want it to be called. Give it a name, an icon. You can give it a description. I haven't really done that yet, but I'll get into that afterwards. Um, I put it in a, a skill type of Fallen because I'm making an Exile class that's going to use Blitz. But you can put it in whatever skill type you, you would like to have. The scope, put the scope for the user just so the graphic uh, applies to the user. Uh, occasion, you want it to be battle screen only. Since you can do mantra and stuff, it'll be overpowered if you don't do that. Um, invocation, make it a certain hit and give it whatever animation, message, and required weapon that you would like. Don't give it any damage type because all it's doing is calling on a common event. <clears throat> so once you've made your skill, 
Go over to your common events. Now here's where it starts. Um, it looks like a lot, but it's really not a whole lot of things once you understand how it works. So uh, I'm going to put a link in the description below to where you can get this uh, plugin that will let you use this script call. So there's, there's a couple of script calls and basically all it's doing in the script is uh, checking for if you're pressing the buttons and if you are turning on a switch. So in this uh, blitz common event, we're, we have four different uh, blitzes. So we're going to need to make a switch for each blitz skill that we have. So I'm using switch 101, 102, 103, and 104. So I'm making it right off the bat, I'm making a conditional statement saying, if switch 102 is off, then uh, do this with no else handler. So you're going to right click, insert new, go to conditional branch, select a new switch, call it blitz, blitz switch 2. But uh, leave space above that for, for switch 1. So you're going to allocate four uh, locations. And I'm going to show you just to clear this up a little bit. So you go to conditional branch and uh, you would go here and you're going to uh, get four spaces so in this case I'm using 101 to 104 and you're going to basically make it just like this so in this first one you're going to say uh, switch two so in my case 102 is off and, and then inside of that conditional branch you're going to right click insert new another conditional branch now I originally tried to make this whole thing a plugin that you guys could just download but I ended up just failing and uh, my javascripting isn't as good as my GML so um, hopefully I'll, be, I'll get that script out for you guys, that plug-in for you, maybe as soon as I can. I don't know if it'll take months, but we'll figure it out. Um, for now, this works though. So you're going to nest a few conditional statements after you've put the second conditional. Inside of that second uh, conditional statement, do the same thing. Right-click, insert new conditional branch, blitz switch 4 is off. Now underneath that, you're going to do a script call. So how you do a script call is you right click, insert new, go to page three, go to the bottom and click script. Now in this script call, you're going to <clears throat> type in this as you see, if parentheses, capital I on input, dot key, capital P on pressed, parentheses, quotations, capital M, uh, and you can change these letters to whatever you want. Uh, in the quotations, in the parentheses. Now we're gonna use two ampersands, which is just holding down shift and the seven, the number seven. Use two of them, and that's going to say or, uh, or no, that's going to say and. That's an and, and then you're going to say input dot key press, and you can basically copy this, highlight this, press Control C, go over here, press Control V, and then type in the number, the letter or number that you can that you want. Now, in the when you're using this plugin that's in this, the description below, you can use any letters, and you can use any numbers from one to zero, and you can use all the F keys. So keep that in mind when you're coming up with your combinations. After you've done that, add an additional uh, parentheses to, cl to close off the first uh, conditional statement here. So if we're pressing M and we're pressing V, then do this. So all this is doing is setting a game switch. So let's see that. We're going to have a dollar sign. Game, capital S on switches, dot set, capital V on value, parentheses 101. Now this number is uh, reflecting the switch. So blitz switch 1 is 101. So we're pressing, we're going to type in a comma, and then we're going to say true. So this is saying turn on switch 101, and then we're going to end line so it doesn't crash. And then we have to close the brace so um, it, it finishes the statement saying if you're pressing these two keys uh, while this, com while this uh, common event is running, then you're going to turn on this switch. And that's all the script is doing. So then underneath that, we're going to right click insert new conditional statement. And this time we're going to say if blitz switch 101, or, or blitz switch 1, in my case it's uh, 101, is on. See this, key, uh, keep in mind these first three are off, and this one's uh, turning on if you press the right keys. So this conditional statement saying is if, if uh, sorry, if blitz switch 1 is on, then we're going to do this. So the first thing I'm doing, which you don't exactly have to do, this is a control variables. <clears throat> to set blitz skill equal to my dark magic skill level and then multiplying my blitz skill by 20. This is so that I can have uh, my blitz damage do different damage depending on a skill level. Now you can just have it do set damage by um, ignoring these two co uh, control variables. So for this case you can just ignore that. Then you can, you can put in a text letting the player know that hey you've achieved the blitz, you got it. Uh, so you can say whatever you want, blitz achieved, name of your skill, what the skill does, and then uh, if it you know is based on something, you can give that extra info. It's up to your uh, your discretion right there. You can also put in a slash commands so that it can uh, have some graphics in the text. Then we're showing battle animations. In this case, 
uh, it's the animation that I want to call on isn't a screen animation. It's actually, um, uh, see there's multiple types of animations. The screen animation will play and, and uh, look for the whole screen. But then if you, if you select um, uh, one that's not a screen, you'll have to go and, and put this in for each one of the troops. So you right click, insert new, control battle animation. It's under battle on tab three right here, show battle animation. And then you're gonna have to guess, or uh, instead of uh, just trying to guess how many enemies you're gonna be fighting, you might as well just put one through eight and copy paste the event for all of them. Uh, because even if there's only three enemies, it'll, it'll just ignore this code. So then we're gonna change the HP. We can, uh, you can really make these skills super customizable. So keep in mind that this is just a template that you're gonna use to change and make it your own and modify it how you see fit. So for this case, I've gone with change enemy HP, and then I've set it based off of a variable, but you can make it a constant number, and I've also made it an uh, entire troop. And if you want it to be like, uh, uh, it only hits one person, it might be hard to do that, because what if you kill the first target, and you want the second target to be there? So I've gone with an AOE effect, just to, to get around any type of thing. That's why I was trying to make a plugin in the first place, but uh, I couldn't get it figured out. But uh, for this case, I've made it an AOE skill. I've made the animation play on all of them, and I've done the damage to all of them. And then I've uh, controlled the variables back so that it doesn't stack uh, into an incredibly high level. So I've multiplied, by multiplied the skill by 20, and then I've divided it after the damage has been allocated. And then I've added one to the dark skill variable, which is set up here. Then we're going to just uh, go all the way down. <clears throat> now that's the first one. Now you've made your first blitz. Uh, now to make your second skill, you're going to change a couple of things, but basically keep the same uh, pr the same uh, system set up. So in this second one, instead of having switch two, three, and four off, we're going to have one, three, and four off. So this is uh, going to be skill number two. So we make three conditional branches, and then we uh, have one, three, and four is all off. And then if all three of those are off, we're going to insert a script. Right, right click, insert new, go to the third tab, go to the bottom, and put script. So then we're going to make a new, uh, in this script, you're going to say if, and the same thing, you could basically copy paste the, the last one you just typed out. So you can change the letters if you like to, you probably want to, otherwise you might have a, the game may not know really which one you're pressing. So you want to make sure that each blitz has its different combination. Then we're going to change one number here. Instead of the first switch you used, you're going to use blitz switch two, whatever number that is. In my case, it's 102. I've tried to keep it clear for the tutorial. So 101 is switch 1, 102 is switch uh, 2, and so forth, down to 4. And we're going to do the same thing, just changing that number. We're turning it on. Don't forget the inline and the brace. And then we're going to make another conditional statement underneath that, saying if switch 2 is on, and that's saying it'll only turn on if we press DG at the right time. Um, so if we press DG at the right time, switch, one, switch 2 will be on, but we're making a conditional statement saying if it is on, do this. So then we're going to show a text, basically copy-paste the last thing you've done, uh, in the first part. In this case it was Venom Blast and then I've showed animation on all because once again it's a it's a center uh, it's not a screen animation it was the center animation which is the same as uh, it's a single target animation I should say. And then we're, in this case I'm adding a state so all the enemies are going to get the, uh, the the Venom or the yeah the Venom state. So in order to do that you go to battle and you go change enemy state and then you select whatever troops you want. I would just go with entire troops for this way of doing it. And then we'll do add whatever state you like. In my case, I made a state called Venom, which is like a weak poison, but when they get hit, uh, they, it metastasizes into a stronger poison and it stacks. Um, so then I've also controlled variables just to add to a skill. Once again, you can ignore the control variables unless you're using a similar system. Next thing we're going to do is the same thing, except now instead of switch 1, 2, and 3, or 1, 3, and 4 off, we're turning off switch one, switch, or we're checking actually, we're not controlling, we're making a conditional branch, right, right click insert new tab one conditional branch, branch. Uh, if blitz switch one is off, if switch two and switch four is off, because this is the third skill in our blitz thing, then if all three are off, we're gonna make a, we're gonna input the script, and the same thing's gonna apply, you're gonna just change the letters to the ones you want them to have, and then change the, the switch that it's turning on, in this case it's blitz switch three, so we're setting that to true. Uh, and then we're saying a conditional statement under, underneath that. If blitz switch three is on, we're going to do this. So we're inserting a text. In this case, it's going to just recover HP, MP, and TP for the whole party. 
and once again I'm controlling a variable <clears throat> and I'm also showing a battle animation but you may notice this time it's only one animation not eight animations why is that because this animation is a screen animation so if you're using a screen animation you can only you can use uh, just one call if you're using a, a, any other animation that says center or anything you want to call to all of the eight enemies okay so once we've got um, our animations and our third skill set up we're gonna do the fourth skill so basically copy paste do the same thing except this time uh, we're saying um, well, we're down here now so now this time we're saying if switch one two and three is off and the reason why you have to branch these uh, nest these conditional branches is because otherwise they can just hold down all the buttons and then activate all the blitz skills in the same turn and we don't want that so we have to make conditional statements using switches uh, this way it doesn't get overpowered so in this case this is, I made this one to show you that you can have as many combinations that you want. Uh, if you want to have it can, where they have to press seven buttons, you can. All you have to do is remember to put the AND, which is two uh, shift sevens, ampersands right there. So if input key uh, pressed is Y, A, N, F, L, if they're holding all five of these keys, then turn on switch number four. So remember we're just changing that and changing the letters if you're copy pasting. So now we're saying if switch 4 is on, so that this is basically checking, did they get the combination right? And you can see in the first time, this was a more difficult one, I actually failed it the first time in the video. Um, but it's a good one because look what this one does, it gives an extra swing, effectively doubling their melee attack power, and also gives 10% extra, extra experience. So this one is a really good one, but it's also hard to do. So if switch 4 is on, we're going to show text, let the player know what's going on, show an animation, and, use the, and create the effect that we want it to have. Now, after we've got all of them, if you wanted to add more, you can do the same thing, but you just have to remember to put another conditional statement saying here, if Switch 5 is off on all of these except for Switch 5. So this the Switch 5 would have uh, all, the, all of these four off. But see, we have to let the player know when they, don't, uh, when they didn't get the combination right. So we're going to make another conditional statement underneath that fourth skill saying if let's basically if all the switches are off. So you're going to make a conditional statement saying if, let's, if switch one is off and inside of that, if switch two is off, inside of that switch three is off, inside of that switch four is off. And if you had another one, you would do switch five is off. And then inside of all of that, you would put a text saying uh, incorrect combo or um, try again or whatever you wanted to say. And that's it. So one thing you have to do at the bottom is you have to turn off all of your switches. So however many uh, combos that you're using, turn off all of those switches at the very, very bottom. Don't do this above this so you'll have errors, but control switches at the very bottom. Turn off switch one, two, three, four, and if you have more skills, five, six, seven, and so on. That way when you call on this common event again, everything is already off by default and it has to be uh, key comboed in order to be activated. So I know that was a lot. Thank you guys for sticking with me if you've stuck through this whole video. If you have any questions or you're making it somewhat different and you want to like figure out something, anything, uh, ask me in the comments below and I'll be happy to help you. Sorry there was no video yesterday, yesterday because I was working on trying to make a plug-in that failed. But if you were following me on Twitter.com slash Driftwood Gaming, you would already know that. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you. Um, hopefully um, I can come out with a, a few more videos uh, about this blitz thing and making it a little more elaborate and I want to make a plug-in for it So if I ever get that completed, I will get back to you guys once again Thank you for watching you guys are awesome, and we'll see you in the next tutorial